This morning, Florida's school safety bill is in the hands of Governor Rick Scott. The controversial plan would arm teachers and put limits on gun purchases. Politicians on both sides opposed parts of it, and the governor does as well. But that bill still passed, and it's sitting on the governor's desk. The big question now, will he sign it? News Channel 8's Evan Donovan with the latest this morning from outside of Plant High School. And for the governor himself, he has been very outspoken about his opposition to arming teachers, and that measure is included inside this bill. Now, all eyes are on him as the state waits and the victims' families from the Parkland shooting watch to see whether he'll sign it. A controversial and emotional vote in the Florida State Legislature with families of the Parkland victims watching. I hope that when I push the green button, that, that will show all the appreciation that I need and that she needs. You don't need to stand with me. I don't need you to stand with me. I need you to stand with the families. Push the green button. Thank you. Here are the main parts of the bill. It would raise the age to buy a rifle from a licensed dealer from 18 to 21, with exceptions for military and law enforcement. It was already 21 to buy a handgun. It would impose a minimum statewide three-day waiting period for all gun sales. It would allow certain school staff to carry firearms after completing 132 hours of training. It bans the sale or possession of bump stocks. That's the gun tool used in the Las Vegas shooting that turns a semi-automatic weapon into an automatic and it would allocate 400 million dollars towards mental health counseling school resource officers and fortifying schools for some of those directly impacted by the school shooting in Parkland it's progress but they want more I want them to ban assault rifles that's what I want and that's what needs to change for me to feel safe to go back to school you know it doesn't matter how many police officers there are at my school I don't feel safe the bill also allows law enforcement to confiscate guns from people who are committed involuntarily under the Baker Act or those who pose a risk to themselves or others. These types of measures would be unthinkable before the Parkland tragedy, so it's interesting to see the impact that these young kids have had. News Channel 8 will be all over this story. We will alert you as soon as the governor takes any action. You're going to want to download the News Channel 8 app so that you can stay up to date.